false teaching number two, the prosperity gospel. That's where people believe that God wants you rich, he wants you famous, he wants you successful, he wants you healthy, wealthy, and if you pray for these things, God will speak them into your life, just like the law of attraction. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 5 says this, there are some who suppose that godliness is a means of gain. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, did you know this? Right now, as we speak, this very second, there are thousands of Nigerians who are being mowed down. There is a modern day holocaust which is happening to Christians in Nigeria. Right now, as we speak, on Sunday, this coming Sunday, there will be Christians in China who, I've seen pictures of this, the government put chairs, they put tables outside their doors so that the Christians can't leave their house to go to church the next day. They barricade them in their houses on Sunday and then when Monday comes they remove the chairs. Right now as we speak this very moment there are starving Christians in Ethiopia. In Armenia there are Christians who can't buy shoes. They're so poor that they have to walk around with glass cutting their feet. The truth is this, God loves all of his people and you might be watching this right now on a beautiful Mac, you might be sitting there on a leather sofa, but right now around the world there are Christians who will never ever get the opportunity to watch a YouTube video because they're so poor, they're so broken. Does God love you more than he loves them? Absolutely not. Christianity is not about being rich. Christianity is not about having money and being famous and successful. Christianity is about a relationship with the risen Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus once said this, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to inherit the kingdom of God. Now many people think it's talking about a needle and this massive big camel fitting through a tiny needle, but that's not what the verse means. Actually, the eye of the needle was a tiny little gap, a tiny little gate in the wall of Jerusalem. And the camels would walk up to this little gate and it wouldn't be able to fit through because it had all of these bags, it had all of these possessions on it. So instead, uh, the owner had to take the possessions off the camel and then it could fit through that gap. And so it is with you and I. We need to let go of our possessions. We need to let go and not hold on too much to our things, but give them away for the kingdom of God.